guys. It is Monday morning and I am just getting ready to settle in to do some desk work. I actually have training this week every single day with Disney. So I have to prioritize and make sure I have um, everything done in the morning because our training is scheduled like around lunchtime every day. So that is going to keep me busy this week. Also tonight is our town book club, which I'm excited for, and I have to do some prep for that. <laughs> so even though I'm still cleaning up from the Halloween party this past weekend, I am also preparing for our book club tonight. So I just wanted to say a quick good morning because I do need to get to work and I will catch up with you guys later. I just got off of my training with Disney. So now I'm making lunch. I'm having another grilled cheese sandwich. I made it last week with this Colby Jack cheese and it was really, really good. <laughs> So I'm gonna have that quick for lunch. And then I have to head to Target to pick up some groceries. Hi, Leo. And this is lunch, <laughs> pretty basic. Madison's school pictures came in today. Look at how cute she looks. She has grown up so much this past year. So I kept checking YouTube and I was wondering why I didn't get any comments at all this morning. And I realized that I didn't schedule my video like I normally do. It was still marked private. So it's after 1.30 and I just posted it. I cannot believe that I did that. And it took me like all day to figure it out. But sorry about that. <laughs> it's the last week of Vlogtober and I am just like really not um, being great about getting it out at 10 a.m. So if you guys could just bear with me this week, I also plan on probably spending a couple of days at the lake this week, which might be a problem because I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do my editing on my laptop. I am hopeful that it's gonna work, but if it doesn't, that would mean that we might be missing a day. And it wouldn't be actually missing the day because I would still have the content, but I'd probably have to combine two days in one and have like nothing posted one day. But hopefully that doesn't happen. It's just that the way that things have been going, <laughs> I always need to be prepared, but yeah, so that's what's up. And now I have a ton of laundry. I don't think you guys, there it is. I have a couple of loads of laundry that I need to fold. It's been a long time since I've gotten into a show, but lately I've been watching Only Murders in the Building and it's really good. So I'm going to watch that now while I go ahead and start folding all the laundry. I just got back from Target. So I'll quickly show you guys everything that I picked up today. It's really not a lot, just kind of filling in, but I needed stuff for dinner tonight and some stuff to bring to the lake because we will probably be going there for a couple of days this week. All right, so I have milk. I have a couple of frozen chicken pot pies. I have some taquitos. For dinner tonight, I'm going to be making Caesar salad with pulled pork sandwiches. So I picked up these King's Hawaiian sub rolls and I also picked up some barbecue sauce to go with that as well. And then for my book club, I might be doing another bean dip, the same one that I made for the Halloween party. So I needed some mild taco sauce, some sliced olives, tomatoes, and guacamole. I picked up some old fashioned apple cider as per Madison's request, <laughs> some chicken noodle soup, and then a couple of the Amy soups that I like. And I finally had to break down and buy a bunch of Halloween candy because Halloween is already coming up this weekend. So I got this really big bag with 250 pieces because we get a ton of trick-or-treaters at my house. And then as backup, just in case, I also picked up a bag of Smarties and a bag of Dum Dum Lollipops. Then I have some applesauce, cinnamon, and then the, non, the no sugar added applesauce. And then I just have some variety packs of chips for the kids and for school lunches and things like that. And everyone here has been struggling with sinus issues and having colds and all of the things. It's just that time of year as the weather is turning. So I picked up some tissues and then I also got a new vaporizer because it's been a while since we've had one of these in the house and I really like the VIX, especially the one where you can add the Vapo steam because it just really helps you to breathe and it helps to calm your cough if you're coughing a lot. And they should have given me medicine too. I'm realizing that they didn't. That's a problem. <laughs> All right, and that is everything. 
Okay, so I'm just starting to set up for book club. I have some pleats put together, some snacks and things, and I'm also making dinner at the same time. I'm basically heating up leftover pulled pork that I have from a couple of weeks ago, serving it with barbecue sauce on rolls and making Caesar salad. So that's gonna be dinner. And I'm gonna get the um, bean guacamole dip thing going pretty soon. That's the same thing that I made for our Halloween party and I just had extra ingredients for that. So I'm gonna be making that. And then I'm gonna get in the shower, get ready and set everything up. <laughs> so I'll show you guys everything set up before we actually have book club, but I'm getting really tired. I have done so much laundry today. I folded three loads of laundry and I couldn't even get to putting it all away because I am just running out of time at this point. All right, so I'm going to go get dinner on the table and get in the shower. Okay, here's my setup for dinner, <laughs> Caesar salad, pulled pork, some rolls, and then I just have barbecue sauce and some sliced tomatoes, and everyone can make something quick to eat so I can clean up and get my bean dip going. I just need to put this in the microwave to heat it up, and then I'll layer all of the stuff on top, and I can start putting things out in a little bit. Okay, so I just set everything up. A friend of mine brought me this broomstick brew <laughs> wine from a, a winery, and I think it's Tomasello. I believe that's in Cape May sounds familiar to me like one of the wineries that we previously had gone to and then I have my haunted house box wine I have some waters back there and then we do have a bunch of seltzer and beer and just other drinks in the um, fridge so I'll see what everyone wants but this is just what I'm going to be putting out for now and then here is our snack table I have Tostitos with the bean dip same bean dip that I made for our Halloween party, except I added the chopped tomatoes this time. I didn't have that the last time. So I think it looks really good. And then I have some mini cupcakes and brownies. I have some nut mix here, and then some deviled eggs, candy, of course. <laughs> and I thought it would be fun just to put a bunch of bags of chips in this big bowl so that people have a variety of chips to choose from. And I think we're good here. Everything looks good. I am actually really hungry <laughs> and I'm ready to uh, dig into some of this. But this is my setup for book club. I only have about maybe five people coming. So we're spread apart well enough. I have chairs throughout the room. I might bring another chair in. That is how I set up for book club. And now I just have to print out the questions and get those ready. Okay guys, so my guest should be here soon. That's gonna be it for today. I hope that you enjoyed coming along. I cannot believe it is already Monday, our last week of Vlogtober. It's just, it went so fast. The month of October just went so incredibly fast for me. I guess it's because there were so many fun things going on with Madison's birthday party and our Halloween party, Patrick getting his new car, Book club is always exciting for me. And this week I actually have my Patreon Halloween party later in the week, so I'm excited for that. Lots of fun stuff going on. Hopefully you have enjoyed coming along thus far. Only a few days left to go. And I will see you guys hopefully in the morning. Hopefully I will remember to actually post it by 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. We shall see. All right, good night guys.